Oh my god, did you see that one? Bro, guys, we just got out here. And as we're pulling up, there are fish rising everywhere. And it looks like really nice size, nice quality fish. I mean, that, dude, dude, that fish is dorsal again. That was, that was a 20 plus inch trout. I'm not kidding you. We got just a little bit of like a midge half coming off. I'm sure these calabatus are kind of moving up. We got a cloudy day light wind just enough to kind of jig our flies for us we got a leech and a chronomate on i said a calabatus chronomate and uh anyway so we're just casting another indicator hopefully gonna get some really big eats here but man hard to just sit here and watch these fish rise without trying to get in there so there he is <laughs> spooked him right back fish are eating in here, but it's definitely better than the McDonald's I ate this morning. <laughs> Buddy is living large. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for tuning in again. I know we're doing some late content. If you guys want to see a video of me explaining kind of the rig and how I fish still water, especially in the spring when we're out here and our rivers are blown out, I mean, everything near us is pushing six to 10,000 CFS. So it kind of forces us if you want to go fishing, if you don't just want to sit at home and tie bugs, go and fit, pick up some still water fishing. So anyways, we're out here, gonna be fishing under an indicator. In our last video, we came out to a similar lake that's like this, desert oasis, beautiful place full of loaded with big rainbows. Fishing was a little tough, but we made it happen. If you saw that video, I appreciate it. So we got some intel on another lake that the fish in here are eating good and they're even bigger than the fish in the other lake. So we're gonna find out if that tale is true. It was a fisherman that told me this after all, so who knows? <laughs> but regardless, fish were caught. So we're gonna give it a run ourselves, and uh, hopefully dodge all these storms pushing through and no crazy wind, but at the moment we got pretty solid conditions, so we'll rock with it. Like if it wanted to pick up a riff. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> there she sinks. You took my recommendation. You took some floating off, huh? I did, I did. I all took right. the floating off. Good. And here we go. Just let her float high and dry. That's a nice one, dude. Yeah, that's a really nice one. Oh, buddy. We did head shake. Dude, that's a, dude. Yeah. No, the boat compass. Oh, looks oh, like dude. it got Moby Dick over there. <laughs> dude, that's nice, bro. Oh, oh, coming to the boat, coming to okay, the boat. Okay, okay, okay. Just horsing this thing in, dude. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> he might jump under the boat, and pop us, and sink us out here. He'd get his revenge, no? Oh my god. All right. Oh my god. 
Oh, <laughs> what an awesome fish, bro. Bro, what? <laughs> Come on, oh, now. Quit playing God. with it, bro. Quit playing with you. Oh, my gosh. Take your net, bro. Bro, what? <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> oh, my God. I told you it was big, dog. Bro, I thought you were just hyping me up. Like, honestly, guys, it kind of felt like the other, like, good. But it felt like those other fish, not... Not oh. easily my best rainbow ever. Nice fish, man. Barely fit to the net. Oh my word. I did not think I was coming out here to just blow my best rainbow, like PB, out of the water. Guys, this is like, if whales and rainbows could be uh, guys, this fish is truly no words. No words. Hold it up real quick. Get that in that. Oh, guys, this thing's a behemoth. We're gonna let her go. She's ready. <laughs> well, I gave you enough crap, bro. It pays off. Dude, let's go. I'll take the one biggest over the quantity any day, bro. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just gonna sit back and just start eating and drinking. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what an eat, dude. I got so tight on that fish. He's heavy, man. Oh my God, dude. Dude, he's huge, huge, bro. He's actually, dude, did you see him, Noah? I just saw him. From see now he's fighting. He's winning best fight of the day already. No, bro. He's he's absolutely huge, bro. Watch your rod, watch your rod. Reel in, reel in, reel in. Yeah, yeah. All the way. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No, no, you're good, you're good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, I'm going to lose him. No, no, you're good. Go, go, go. Hold on. Oh, my gosh, dude. What? Dude, this is a monster, bro. Dude, this thing's huge, brother. I'm not kidding you. Dude, I got, I got a knot in my line here, guys. Let's hope we don't get to it. Fish place dirty, man. Oh my gosh. <sighs> the game never ends, man. 
game never ends. Bluebird sky, skies when we started this fight. Hail by the time we're ending it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I know, I know. That's okay, that's okay. It's okay. Here we'll get him. Oh, he just fills it up, bro. Oh, God. Buddy, just. He just spit up a man. He just spit up a little baby rainbow, dude. Or a perch? What? Dude, a little baby perch. Oh, my gosh, dude. <gasps> oh my gosh, bro. What is that? Oh no, what just happened? He's swimming. <laughs> Folks, no good video with the fish. I'll slap a picture right here though. Got a couple pictures of him and uh, Buddy was facing here and he started to flop so I just tossed him back in. I didn't want no problems him flopping around and he missed the net but anyways, here's the fish he ate, man. Just crazy, humongous perch, not a humongous perch, but a nice sized perch right down his throat. Even some bugs, look at that chronomid, out of the perch's mouth, pulled out of the chronomid. Pretty crazy. Anyways, wow, I'm pretty speechless. This is insane, man, that fish was, I'm starting to really think if it was a PB. Like I've caught some big rainbows, now if it were like a brown or something like that, definitely people. Let me like. just let me just specify. He's only thinking about whether or not he's caught one longer than that, but by yeah. a mile, Gosh, weight, fish. like height, thickness, Back. his PB. It's PB, baby. <laughs> I wish you guys got to see some more of that fish, but I mean, the fight was the coolest part, and uh, picture, picture will do its justice. So, or maybe it won't. Regardless. I saw it's justice, and it was How a did you fish. Talk through that fight for a second, though. Well, it was chaos. You see, we got a lot of line here. <laughs> and there's a lot of things in the boat, including whatever this is, this, the oar, the oar system, the anchor line, my shoes, the grooves between my shoes, Every little tiny thing on my pants and my shirt and my jacket and my whatever, that line was getting caught on. On top of avoiding anchor rope in the water. Avoiding anchor my rope line. and Noah's rod in the water. I had that fish on this side underneath and he jumped on the opposite side. Just freaking dogging him here, jumps out of the water here, <laughs> turn on him, somehow land him there. How many runs did he have where you had to literally fight him like a tarpon, just straighten out your rod and let him just take it? Too many. It wasn't even fun anymore. It was stressful. <laughs> it was past the point of, hey, fishing's fun. No, fishing is stressful. You hook a big one, it turns into a stressful sport, not a fun one. But when he's finally there, it was a fun one. <laughs> That's what it's about, dude. That's what it's all about, man.
<laughs> what an awesome sink, bro. <clears throat> Bring us up wind. We need to reset our drift. Yeah, we do. I like this. I like this. <laughs> he's doing his job. But he's captaining the ship. What is that, dude? It doesn't even look like a rainbow. Did it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Super cool looking bow. Check out this fin, he just battle scarred. Check out his eye too. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Type job. Type on him, dude. But he's photogenic. It's like a tiger trout, he's so patterned up. Wow. Oh, he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we just got in a little pocket here and we're like, got bit so many times, we're like, I bet someone's gonna bite here real soon. Get ready. Sure enough. All right, guys. Well, we just made it back to the banks here. And uh, anyways, we put a mark on the net here. That was Noah's fish. Who knows how much, if mine were bigger, smaller, whatever. It was a huge fish. Flopped out of my hands, fumbled the bag a little bit and couldn't get measurements, but we did it for Noah's. So we're gonna get, bust out the old tape measure. That's a 25 incher, dude. Two footer, man. Wow. Holy smokes, guys. Insane coming out here. The majority of the fish we caught today were 20 plus inches. There were a few fish that were probably 16 to 18, you know, being courteous. But that being said, the majority of the fish were 20 plus. Knowing that we had two fish over two foot is crazy. It's just crazy, man. We, we've been fishing for probably four or five hours, beat the weather on the way here, and now about to beat the weather on the way out. We have a nice storm pushing through and, uh, don't get me wrong, it'd probably help with still water fishing, but that being said, we don't even want to deal with it. We're content, so we're gonna head on out of here. Guys, if you want to see a video of me explaining how we lake fish, what I look for on a lake, you know, there's a lot of water. It's not like a river, you have a nice deep pool, you toss it through, there's probably some fish. 
there's a lot of water. It's kind of intimidating. How I kind of break down the lake and how we find some spots to go out here, depth, etc. Let me know. I can make that real quick. And other than that, guys, click on this video here if you want to see us catch some more monster rainbows on a lake very similar to this. You guys won't want to miss it. See you in the next one. Tight lines.